Okay, so what I did, I went and bought some Holbein Artist watercolors. There they are. And um, I wanted to get some gouache, but I decided, ah, oh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and and um, get the watercolors. And then my daughter and I was looking on um, online, and we found a travel watercolor palette, which is made of ceramic. Oh my goodness sakes! I added. Look at this. I added these paints to it. It's it's ceramic. And then when I close up my watercolor brush, it fits in there. And yes, I practiced and I used it a bit. So I started making, I made a um, swatching of all the colors. And then I made this here Arizona scene of being in the desert with a horse, man on a horse, because, you know, you got to have a man on a horse. So, we're going to do it again, only this time, what I want to do is um, the Arizona desert, as, as I see it with a... Um, A old house in the desert. So let's try this. Why is my chair? My chair fell and I'm down in the <laughs> down on the floor practically. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little bit of drawing because um that's gonna help me get this um get this building kind of in there. I don't want to have a lot of um I don't want to have a lot of drawing on there. We're just going to kind of give it a little bit of a a start. You know. And this is kind of like a a porch of some sort of the a chair, you know, sitting on the porch, watching the coyotes run. That's always fun. And we're going to have a few um, cactuses growing out here in the, in the desert. And the lizards like to hang out in these, in these cactuses. And they're more like a succulent type of a cactus. And put that in there. And obviously I don't know everything about these um, cactuses, but I know that when I went to Texas, Years and years ago, when seeing my mother-in-law, she had a a plant that was like this, and it was lizards lizards growing in it, or living living in there. And then you got the rocks. And the scruff, the solar, is all kinds of things. And watch out for scorpions and snakes and all those things that go, <laughs> that live in the desert. Yeah. I actually got stung in the finger from a scorpion too, and I, I survived. Oh, thank goodness sakes, I did. So yeah, that was, that was a good thing. There's another one here, and we're gonna, we're gonna add some Just gonna add some cactus in here because because my Arizona desert can have whatever I want it to have and yeah and 
and some rocks. We're going to put some rocks here because you, you just got to have to have rocks wherever you go. All kinds of rocks and not a lot of grass. So, yeah. We're going to add this in here too. In the background and then don't forget somewhere in the background the red hills put the red hills in there I don't know why I feel like I need to draw Arizona things my father used to live in Arizona so that could be the reason, I don't know. <laughs> Some more rocks, maybe a bench. I mean, if you're gonna make your desert look decent, you, you're gonna to wanna to, um, put some cool things in there. Yeah. And these will be you know, far off in the distance, so you can't see them very well for their color. And we're going to have to put another rock over here. I hope everybody's having a good day. I mean, when you're, when you're doing your art things, you should be um, drawing. Just always enjoy all the moments and, you know, that's what you should be doing. Get all that, um, I was gonna check my, um, um, check my picture and I think, I think we're gonna let it sit like that. This particular micron isn't doing very well. I don't know what its problem is having a problem. Now we're gonna dry out these Holbein paints. I discovered that if you take this yellow, put that in there, put this yellow in there, and then um, this black, and you're gonna end up with a, um, a dark color that we can use but our desert is is red we're gonna go with a little bit of background red now I don't like putting a lot of color on um, on some of the things because because I don't think it needs a lot of color. And then this structure back here too. I mean, I think it's like sandstone or something and it got washed. So then you end up with these structures in Arizona. They're, they're actually pretty cool. And then we definitely need our sand because it's red as far as the eye can see. Even the rivers are red. The red clay rivers are interesting. So we'll get that done in there. That. And the house or shack, 
I guess. I'll add that in the red too. I'm gonna put that in there. Give it a tin roof. And then we're gonna need to add a little purple or whatever red blue that is for some shadow. Some shadow underneath there and underneath here a little bit. And the rocks. I'm gonna give the rocks some shadow. Yeah, just, you don't have to um, overdo anything, just, you know. I really enjoy painting. It's, it's fun and uh, it's very enjoyable for me. And um, just the process of putting ink to paper and a little paint on it. I mean, it feels feels really good. So we'll try some of these, some of these rocks. They're they're rocks. So they got some shadow, and we're gonna put some more tin on the roof because I'm assuming that's how that that would be. And now we're we're at the sky. So. What I want to do with the sky is I'm going to get it wet. We're just going to get it wet. And then we're going to add some blue to it. And we don't want to have a lot of blue because there's clouds up there. And then purple. That is not purple. I keep dipping into the blue. I want the purple. Here's the purple. Okay. A little bit of purple. That's a lot of purple. Because there could be a storm off in the background, but I mean, this wa this watercolor paper that I'm using is, is got some dimples or something in it, you can see. And that looks like a stormy sky to me. And we're gonna do, we're gonna need a little more shading. We're gonna use this blue, wipe it off, cause that's what I do. And we're gonna put it down underneath this. Oh, we're going to put a little black in that. We need some... We need some more shadow. More shadows. More shadows. More shadows. Shadows. Yep, and the sun's behind us. So we're going to get some more shadows. More shadows. Okay, I know it's a very simple type. And I recommend using 100% watercolor paper. This is not, because if it is, it sure isn't acting like it. And it's all perfectly fine. Just enjoy all your moments when you're doing your art. And... Don't forget to sign your art, preferably with a pen. That works. Okay, I think we got everything we need. Might need to add a little bit more in the background. Here we got. These hills could use some more platforms in them. So we'll add a little bit in there. A 
I'm going to go in here. And then this roof. There. We're going to go with that. Okay. So that would be uh, my Holbein watercolors. And my Arizona landscapes. There you are. I hope you enjoy all the all, all the artwork that I'm bringing to you. And then you take your watercolor brush and it fits in there. And yes, the cover shuts with it on there. I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.